With potential outcomes and causal effect defined, we can now move on to the fundamental problem of causal inference. Even though we know that the causal effect is 1 in this case, because we know the potential outcome under treatment is 1, and the potential outcome under no treatment is 0, we can't actually observe this causal effect. To see why, consider what would happen if I were to not take the pill. I would observe yi0 zero equals 0, so I, observe, so I would observe that my headache would not go away. But I wouldn't be able to observe my potential outcome under treatment. I wouldn't be able to observe yi1. And that's because I can't go back in time and set conditions to exactly what they were when I didn't take the pill, and then take the pill. Similarly, if I did take the pill, so I did do t equals zero, I would observe my potential outcome under treatment, yi1 equals one. But then I wouldn't be able to observe my potential outcome under no treatment for the same reason as before. So in both these cases, I can't observe one of the potential outcomes. The other potential outcome, the, the one that I can't observe, is a counterfactual. And the one that I do observe is a, a factual, say. And because I can't observe one of these, I can't actually observe the unit-level causal effect on the bottom right there. This is often referred to as the fundamental problem of causal inference. This fundamental problem can also be interpreted with as a missing data problem. So in this table, we have I is the specific individual, the unit, T is the treatment that they receive, and Y is the outcome that they observe. The potential outcomes Y1 and Y0 here don't have an I subscript, but they're still for the ith individual. I just don't actually put the subscript there because they're associated with this ith column. And uh, whenever their potential outcome is associated with a specific i, the i is implicit. And if there is no i there and there's no implicit i, then it's just a random variable, which is random because it's like you're drawing a specific unit from the population. Let's go through some of these rows now. The first row, i equals 1, treatment equals 0, and the observe an outcome of 0. So because treatment equals 0, they observed their y0 potential outcome, but they didn't observe their y1 potential outcome because treatment is 0, not 1. And because of that, they can't observe their unit-level causal effect. Similarly, in the second row, t equals 1, y equals 1, and because t equals 1, they observe their y1 potential outcome, and not their y0 potential outcome. So that means that their causal effect is still unobserved, right? This is the fundamental problem of causal inference, and the missing data here are a bunch of question marks. Throughout this course, I will ask you questions about material that we just saw, and this is because recalling material, in your own words, helps with memory. So the first question is, what is the fundamental problem of causal inference? So go ahead and think about that, try to answer it in your own words.